This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hey, everybody. Welcome to a brand new Into the Multiverse. So glad to be with you again this week. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell and tell YouTube that you always want to be notified every time a new episode of Into the Multiverse is uploaded. And in case YouTube doesn't notify you because they've been doing that a lot lately, <laughs> just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m., you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. All right. So NASA is building or actually has built a super cold lab to study something called super atoms. On May 20th, the American Space Agency launched what's called CAL, or the Cold Atom Laboratory, uh, to the International Space Station. What makes this so unique is the space station's microgravity allows scientists to be able to study quantum phenomena that normally you wouldn't be able to on Earth. But what scientists are really interested in are these ultra-cold quantum gases called Bose-Einstein condensates. Now, I know that's a big mouthful, but that's okay. We won't get too technical. Uh, but what makes these interesting is they seem to defy the laws of physics. Now I say seem to because they don't actually defy the laws of physics. Uh, usually when we see something that seems to defy the laws of physics, it just means that we have a gap in our uh, knowledge, not there's not an actual gap in physics. What makes Bose-Einstein condensate so unique is they're cooled down to almost absolute zero, which is actually even colder than most of deep space. Now, at this temperature, these atoms start to, well, they slow down, obviously, but they become so motionless relative to one another that they almost kind of clump together in what's called a super atom. This is technically supposed to be impossible. At least that's what it was thought for a long time. But this is what we see on a quantum level. This is actually what's happening at these lower temperatures. Now, what says this isn't supposed to be possible is called the Pauli exclusion principle, which essentially says that atoms can't be in the same place at the same time. But that's pretty much what we're seeing at these absolute cold temperatures, these near absolute zero temperatures. However, Einstein being the genius that he was, uh, predicted this with another physicist named uh, Bose. That's where you get the Bose Einstein condensate, but this was predicted, this, this weird quantum phenomenon was uh, predicted in 1924. Now the reason they had to create this lab on the space station and they, why they can't study it on Earth is because, because of the Earth's gravity, it makes, it makes it incredibly difficult to observe. Usually the gravity overtakes the particles and, and you can only really see the super atom or observe it for a fraction of a second. So that, with the Earth's gravity, it just doesn't make for an ideal environment to study this stuff. But due to the microgravity of this lab on the space station, the International Space Station, they can study these gases for up to 10 seconds, which is a lot longer than just the fraction of a second that they would get on Earth. Also, they can do this from Earth. They don't actually have to be in the space station themselves, the scientists. They can do it from Earth for six and a half hours a day. And of course, it always seems to come back to quantum computing because uh, you might wonder, well, why are they doing this? What, what are the practical uses? Uh, well, quantum computing is one of them. There's also optical data storage, improved atomic clocks and telecommunications, but it's also just interesting because it teaches us more about how the universe works, which is always pretty cool. All right. Now, again, if you haven't had a chance to do so, go ahead and subscribe, click the little bell. And uh, yeah, that's it. Kind of a short one today, but uh, this week, but uh, I love you all. And until next time, take care and God bless. For nearly 20 years, Dr. Thomas R. Horn has warned of a coming transhuman hybrid age. It has finally arrived. And now Zygon, the celebrated peer-reviewed journal of religion and science has published a thesis by a professor of religion and philosophy at the University of London. Identifying Dr. Horn and his team from Skywatch TV and Defender Publishing as the leaders of the transhuman resistance. But what is transhumanism and why are academics and leading futurists worldwide suddenly so concerned with Horn's milieu? Hold on to your seat as all will be disclosed this April. The Mill U. Welcome to the Transhuman Resistance.
the world's top academics and futurists are identifying Dr. Thomas Horn and his milieu as the leaders of the transhuman resistance. But what is Horn and his team of researchers getting ready to expose about the rapidly approaching hybrid age that has top-level professors so alarmed? All is revealed in the new Milieu Hyper Collection. When you order the Milieu from Skywatch TV, you'll also receive the brand new full-length documentary film, The Last Religion, featuring over a dozen theologians, including Chuck Missler, Gary Stearman, L.A. Marzulli, Joel Richardson, and more on the subject of artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and the unfolding of the last days. This cutting-edge work was 30 years in the making and is being called the prophecy film for millennials. Also included is the never-before-released audio series The Hybrid Age, featuring Dr. Thomas Horn and legendary radio personality Steve Quayle. This amazing audio series is nearly five hours in length and discusses the game-changing genetic advances scientists are making now. Plus, you'll also receive the two-time Telly Award-winning documentary, Inhuman, featuring members of the U.S. President's Council on Bioethics, top transhumanists, and world-renowned theologians discussing how thousands of government and private research facilities around the world are already working to rewrite what it means to be human. But that's not all. With every Milieu Hyper Collection, we're also giving away a surprise package with a retail value of $75 in extraordinary overstock products, mystery items that may include books, audio series, music CDs, DVDs, documentary movies, emergency preparedness items, and more. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of over $160. Yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling. So arm yourself for the days ahead with everything you need to know about the coming hybrid age. Get the Milieu Hyper Collection now at skywatchtvstore.com or by calling 1-844-750-4985.